Hey, so today we're gonna roll up and hang out with Greg Peterson at the Urban Farm and check out these houses, just normal neighborhood here, like a typical neighborhood you would see in the suburbs. And Greg's house looks a little bit different. It's not this typical neighborhood. Look, he's right there greeting us. There he is. And his house has got a lot of vegetation growing. He's got a hedge of edible citrus apples and he's apparently got about 80 trees, edible trees and such, in this little one-tenth of an acre. Greg uh, names his house the Urban Farm, so you can check out his uh, urbanfarm.org website, urbanfarm.org, and he's got a ton of vegetation packed in here. And uh, we're going to go check it out and see what Greg has to say today. Let's go see what he has growing on. Greg Peterson, Urban Farm. Nice. How you doing? Let's do it. Urban Farm. Do you mind if she films a couple of things for our, for our vlog? What do you got? Is this all like irises or something? Or yeah, are these, are, these are actually irises. I think they were here on the property when we moved in. Really? And they, yeah, they used to go back there. We moved some of them here. They'll feed out a nice white one here in the next uh, couple of weeks. Nice. Um, and then my brand new, I don't know if you saw the article, the Taj Mahal chicken coop. Here it That's is. Cool. First time I've ever had a um, full-on chicken coop. So you got all the stuff in there protected from birds and stuff. Right. right. Oh, what do you get? Little piggies. Those are just babies. Those are just babies. They're yeah, only like six America. feet, six six feet, six weeks old at this it's like point. Americana and bar rock or something. Yep, Americana bar rock. Yeah, we didn't get Rhode Islands this time, but we got ten new chicks coming. Nice. Um, let me tell you something. Amazing, the amount of money we're saving on feed. Why? Because of the birds. I can't mine find a way in. I gotta, I gotta do that. Damn it! I am, uh, I am really. I'm, fig I'm gonna bet that we're gonna save at least fifty percent on feed. Damn it! And when we're spending, you know, seventy bucks a month on feed, that's that's it. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, I'll know, I'll know here in the next six months. I'll do an article here in the next six months about uh, chicken feed and the birds okay. getting it. Um, but I'm, I'm betting we're gonna save at least fifty percent on wow. chicken feed. That's great. Yeah, that is really cool. So. Cucumbers uh, is no. a, uh, is a second hand shop. Oh, really? And I remembered from years ago that they had a bunch of doors in the back, so I just went over there and I paid 30 bucks for this door. And That's awesome. Yeah. I've done the Handyman Candy Store before. And then the greenhouse is going out here. Seriously? Oh, really? That's going to yep. be cool. I'm going to do a, uh, it's called, uh, apparently it's called something called a wallapini. The greenhouses? Sunk it in the ground. Huh. I'm going to go down three feet, three or four feet. And so it'll be a walk down and it's going to be back in that space back there. Oh, that'd be cool. I'm thinking about. I'm, I'm hoping I can get it to about 200 square feet, so okay. 10 by 20, but it's probably going to be 10 by 15. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, and then the pergola over the top for the shade for the chickens. This uh, great vinyl bud out here in the next couple weeks. And that's a mulberry you got right there. And that's a Persian mulberry. Persian it is. Mulberry. Or a Pakistani. I, can, I think it's Pakistani. Mulberry. Pakistani had the longer ones. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it's got. That's awesome. That's awesome. Looking good. Yeah. Thanks. I like it. <clears throat> and then I used. Uh, this is the um, old uh, citrus tree. This is an old citrus orchard, and it used to be planted right there. And when it fell over, that's, we cut it up, and now. cut it up in pieces, and now it holds up the the uh, patio. Nice. Yeah. And you had grapes growing up it. Oh yeah, this is a grapevine right here. That's a grapevine. This is a grapevine. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's, that's huge. a grapevine. There used to be a little fence here, and it wrapped itself around the fence. So when I took the, the fence post out here, it was in oh the middle. Oh my god. Yeah. So that that is a grapevine. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, you know, how, how old? How old is it? Yeah, I'm going to say 10, 12 years. Wow, that's great. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So, what, then, what kind of grapes? Green or red? Green. It's like a Thompson seed. That's nice. That's cool. And it's a, you know, a medium size, small to medium size grape, and I'll get 100 pounds off of this. That's awesome. It'll just be hanging here. You got your sprouting section. You know what I've been you doing? You know what I've been doing? <laughs> um, the guys that sell sprouts this is the what's left over after they cut them oh at like a juice bar or something at a juice bar yeah i go get the trays from from them mm -hmm. and the chickens love them. oh and they just throw them out probably they don't compost it yeah wow yeah good idea yeah they just throw them out so i you know i've been experimenting but because i grow wheatgrass for my chickens in a, in a tray yeah and they love it yeah but i just i like having it for me right one of the things I'm looking at, I just started this conversation, interestingly enough. And isn't it amazing how once you start a conversation, um, things start showing up in yeah, the space? it's like that, a lot so, of traction. two days ago, I had a conversation with Heidi about um, this whole grass area back there. I hate to mow grass. 
Yeah. I absolutely hate to mow grass. Would you like to walk on it? Yeah. <laughs> well, and see, this is a flood irrigated property, so okay. you know it's hard. It's hard to get rid of it. Right. So what we're going to do out in back of me is I'm actually going to grow a series of different kinds of grasses that are forage for the chickens, Whoa. and then just let the chickens forage in it. Nice. That'd be cool. Yeah. So the 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 interesting piece of that is this morning I got from Bell Star, uh, who teaches seed school online. Uh, I got a, a a note from one of our seed school online students that said she was researching forage for chickens and this is what she came up with so i have a conversation with heidi two days ago about it nice and you know so, so yeah it's being pulled toward you getting all the yeah. answers isn't that fun nice that's awesome i love it you're like this is quote that was like um uh train or whatever your trade is train until your idols become your rivals so you're one example of that for me you're like the idol of yeah. gardening that now is my rival can i grow more than greg peterson <laughs> go man i hope you <laughs> so do good. yeah exactly so it's yeah. cool because I came here the last time and I did your class. Yeah. And I bought a few chickens from you. Or adopted. You had an over flock yeah, yeah. and I adopted it from you. Yeah, yeah. I remember, cool. I remember that. That was kind of first when you came on my radar. Uh, Expanded it. But part of the reason it wasn't big enough was because these guys were getting big. This was the brooder that I had 10 chicks oh, in. Okay. And they were way outgrowing it. I mean, look at the size of them now. Aww. Yeah. You know, so they'll be in here another six weeks. Oh, wow. They'll be in here another six weeks. And, um, She's hand feeding them and you know, all That's kinds cool. of stuff. So what's gonna happen next? They walk up the hay bale. Yeah. What's gonna happen next is this whole center wall is coming out. So you got a hay bale that is a ladder for the chickens, and you have made this chicken coop out of political signs. I know, isn't it great? <laughs> isn't it great? I there hate was a... those political signs. Oh, I know. They're I know. left out. This is the use for them. <clears throat> this is the use for them. <laughs> the, uh, uh, I can send you an article. Phoenix Magazine re recently ran one, uh -huh. uh, a little article about how I use uh, political signs for chicken coops. I'll put it in the description of, of this of this video. And they called me mm. the pilot fish of the uh, body politic. And pilot fish, they eat the uh, parasites off of sharks. So you're taking all the all the all that stuff. Isn't that you're, funny? you're cleaning <clears throat> society. Check it out, man. I literally want to whoever runs and leaves their signs out, I'm gonna let them make a note and not vote for them next time. Like, whoever go. leaves their signs out. Well at least you're doing I'll vote this, for you this, because you're taking them and doing this, something. Like I know I'm not gonna run. <laughs> Thank you, I'm not gonna run. And it's crazy this stuff lasts. I had one. It's plastic. Right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well I had one. Um, on my old chicken coop, which was over here, uh -huh. the chicken coop was up for 14 years and it had the roof of a political sign and it was still in good shape. Wow. That is cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Great, great idea. We're going to go into the Pomegranate Cafe. So we're here at the uh, Pomegranate Cafe. Different Chandler. And I got the Dragon Bowl and I put some extra habanero on it. It's called Oh Brother That's Hot. And Pam's got the, what is that Pam? It's the Philly cheese and the sliders. I got the sliders, all vegan. 100% vegan food. Pomegranate Cafe in Chandler. It's a great place. The cool thing about this Dragon Bowls is it's got these clear noodles and they're kelp. They're made of kelp. So I'm literally getting my seaweed fix while I'm eating this stuff. <laughs> Should I get a vegan dessert? <laughs> We have a winner. There it is. <laughs> this is the pond. And my new little guy is out there. Check this out. He's the water turtle. The red eared. Is it a red eared slider or a red eared strider? And he is letting me approach the closest ever right now. But as you can see, as I take a step closer, he's thinking, no, I don't know if I want you that close, but he's slowly learning that I, oh, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say he's slowly learning that I mean no harm, but that was enough of that. <laughs> Cute little guy. <laughs> 